So I've spent a year with the HP Omen, both the Ryzen and Intel versions. And more recently, I was able to review the Intel 12th gen. And I wanna talk about each of the variations of the laptop, the good, the bad, and then which one you should purchase. And actually right now, if you go over to bestbuy.com, the sponsor of this video, they're running a Black Friday in July sale. So no need to wait till later in the year to get an awesome deal on the HP Omen or a number of my other top Crater laptop picks. Choose from the top performing laptops for 3D modeling, video editing, and motion design work, as well as photography, design, and digital art. All on sale right now at bestbuy.com. I've put together a shopping cart full of my favorite picks that are on sale right now. If you catch this video after the sale ends, don't get distressed as Best Buy is constantly providing some of the best laptop prices on the market and with two day shipping on thousands of items and same day pickup for thousands more, Best Buy makes it easy to start creating faster. Use the link in the description below to head on over to bestbuy.com right now to pick up your creator tools. The first thing I wanna talk about is what I dislike about the laptop after a year of use. And I hate to be negative, but I wanna be honest in this review and show you some of those things. First and foremost would be the annoying screen wobble that this screen comes with. It just is bouncy and it just isn't as firm as I wish it was. And then match that with pretty substantial screen flex and the screen really is not my favorite part of the build. Now the actual screen quality is good, and what I mean by quality is the brightness and color gamut range. You get around 363 nits of brightness, and you get an sRGB of 99%, sRGB and a 2.47 Delta E. So it's a good screen. It's not a great screen, and I don't love the screen flex and screen wobble, like I said, but for the price point, it really does the job well. So for me, it's hard to complain about, but I have to nonetheless. Now, the next thing I wanna point out as far as a dislike for this laptop is the thermals on the Ryzen 7 version. I saw upwards in the 90 degrees Celsius range while running 4K video editing exports. Now, the Intel version has really good thermals, had mid 60s to even high 50s for the 4K video editing export. So if you're gonna choose one of these laptops based off of thermal performance alone, I would choose the Intel. But my big complaint for the Ryzen version is the high thermal temperatures while conducting 4K video editing exports, working in Photoshop, and doing 3D modeling. It was just a little hot for my preference. And my last big complaint about this laptop is battery life. One of the big reasons I think the battery life seems to suffer for this laptop is it doesn't have a iGPU switch. And what I mean by that is basically the ability to turn off the dedicated GPU and run solely on the integrated graphics from the CPU. If we were able to do that, we would see much higher battery life performance out of this laptop. But basically, whenever you're running this laptop, you can't get away from running the background of the GPU. Even if you're not doing GPU intensive tasks, it just seems to kind of use it along the way, which ends up burning more battery life than it would need to if it had that iGPU switch, like some of the Asus laptops that are on the market now. So as far as battery life is concerned, it gets good battery life under the circumstances, but I think it could get much better battery life if we had that iGPU mode. Now let's talk about some things that I love about this laptop. And that's the performance. And for the price point, especially if you're watching this video when it is released with that Best Buy Black Friday in July sale, you can't beat this laptop's price point for performance. Now, both the Ryzen 7 5800, the Intel 11th gen, and now the Intel 12th gen all get great performance. Now, the craziest thing is going from Intel 11th gen to Intel 12th gen really didn't see that much boost in performance. I was actually quite shocked that the 11th gen was almost just as good as the 12th gen once it released. Now you are gonna get about 10 to 15% better performance, but the question is, is that performance worth the extra money for you? That's a decision you'll have to make and a recommendation I'll make later in the video. But for now, the way I'm looking at this is if you're gonna do video editing or you're gonna do any Photoshop work, the Intel 11th gen or the Ryzen 7 5800H would be plenty of performance and you can save a lot of money right now on those two laptops. However, if you're gonna get into 3D modeling or After Effects work, then you would benefit from Intel 12th gen. It just is a bit more performance. It's gonna future-proof you by about that, you know, 20% increase in performance for those two specific types of workflow. But again, if you're sticking in the video editing and Photoshop work, you'd be totally fine going with Ryzen 7 5800H or Intel 11th gen. So that'd be my recommendation as far as performance is concerned. And you've seen some of the benchmarks up on the screen as I've been talking.
Now, the next thing that really impressed me is how well this laptop held up over the past year. Now, I have one of my video editors using an HP Omen, actually the 11th gen model, and she's had no issues with it. The top cover has stayed nice, even though it is a plastic material. The keyboard deck has shown no scratches. It is in aluminum finish as well as the side panels. And the bottom cover, though it is a little on the hollow sound, let's do a quick tap test. It still has shown no issues as far as the durability and reliability of the materials. Now, looking at how the side panel is fit into the bottom cover, there's no catchy edges. They fit the bottom panel into the side cover very nice. And so this is often something I look at to look at the attention to detail a brand puts into the assembly of their laptop. And as you can see, HP does very well with their Omen series. Everything fit in very nicely to the side panels. Now, if you're looking for ports, in a world where all the ports are being removed, it seems like on laptops, then the HP Omen is a great pick for you. On the left side, you have an RJ45 port, your power adapter, USB type A, mini display port, HDMI, USB type C, a headphone jack, and an SD card reader. And on the right side panel, you have two USB type A's. And of course we have a vent on this side as well. Now the next thing to point out that I've really enjoyed about this laptop over the past year is going to be the trackpad and keyboard deck. For a long time, this was one of my absolute favorite trackpad keyboard deck combinations. Now it's been dethroned more recently by another laptop go ahead and try and find on my channel which laptop that is and comment below if you know which one I like slightly better. But for this HP Omen a year later, I can say I have no complaints about it. The trackpad is quiet. It has a really nice, firm, satisfying press. It's got great touch sensitivity and it's well assembled to the chassis. It doesn't feel rattly or loose. It's just a very satisfying click when you're using this trackpad. The keyboard deck is great because I personally don't use a numpad. I know quite a few people who've commented on the channel have said numpad is very important to them. This laptop does not include that, though it does have a lot of handy keys that I often use. I have a page up and page down when I'm scrolling through websites, print screen if I'm trying to grab some quick information. I can quickly jump into a calculator, which actually for me, I use quite a lot while running benchmarks. And then I can easily jump into the HP Omen Gaming Hub with the click of a button. Now I also have access to my arrow keys right here, clearly set apart from the other part of the keyboard deck, which for me, I really enjoy as well when clicking around through different programs and applications. So the keyboard, in my personal opinion, really fits my use cases. It's also very quiet and has a really good firm medium to long key press for a very satisfying clip. So you can hear what it sounds like. Here's a quick audio sample of me using both the trackpad and the keyboard. Now, one of the things that's nice to have, but I wouldn't say it's the best quality, would be both the webcam and the speakers on the laptop. And here's a quick audio sample of both of those for you. The webcam for the HP Omen, obviously you're hearing the audio right now. It is a little grainy in the background, but the color of the skin tones seems very natural. And so it doesn't make you really orange or super blue or green. So I really like that about it. So though they are included, they're not the best quality, but again, for the price point and the performance that you get on this laptop, you really can't beat it. Now, in regards to where I feel this laptop fits on a budget and usability standpoint, I feel like it's the mid to low range price point, which is fantastic for the performance that you're getting and the build quality. Now, there's other laptops that have some things that I prefer a little more, like maybe a magnesium alloy chassis that is all of the top cover, bottom cover, and keyboard deck, you know, an all aluminum chassis of the same nature. But in order to have that really good price point and still great performance, we have a plastic top cover. We have a plastic bottom cover. But again, saving those materials and putting into more important things like a good quality 99% sRGB screen, it allows us to have the best computer for the budget. And that's where I feel that HP Omen still really stands out. A lot of other computers that I used to consider to be budget friendly computers have now moved up into more of the mid to premium price point because they've made them better. But again, they've left behind the more budget friendly user 
for that purpose. And so for me, this fits really well for that mid to low range budget. Don't forget about the sale happening right now over at bestbuy.com. Get that Black Friday in July if you're watching the video as it's posted. But if you're not watching this video at the time of recording, definitely head on over to bestbuy.com because they're constantly having sales and it's where I personally purchase all of my laptops from. Links for ready to make a purchase, likes if this video has brought you some value, and subs if you want to miss out on the future uploads. I'll see you here in the next one.